Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is June hamster cage tour, hamster bin cage tour, whatever. Um, not a lot to change there now because he is an old boy. Just to let everyone know, and he has not got a wheel in there today. Well, this time. Um, every week he gets changed for wheel to not because he doesn't go on there, but it's always in there. Well, not always. It's in there once a week just because he does want to go on it, but he doesn't go on it anyway. Anyway. Um, he was in a three tier one, but I'm not going to talk into that. Want to know about that? Got my recent one, recent hamster cage tour. Um, so a lot, a little bit has changed. This my four, well, nearly four year old red to white hamster lives here. He's moved to a different location now. He now lives there, on top of my wardrobe. Just because, well. I moved him up because quite a lot of change in my room. If you see my room tour, then you will know. So yeah, that's the that's where he actually stays now, and obviously he lives in here. So this is a bin cage. Um, it's a wham box, and he is awake, so also I'm not thinking about him, uh, moving him, and he is in a 32 liter. Um. Um, sorry, I had to pause it then, because, whatever. Um, it's a 60 by 40 by 18 centimetres high. Um, and he lives in here, and obviously comes with a lid. I definitely recommend bin cages, because I wouldn't go back to a store bought one now, unless you, um, unless it's a surplus. You know, the big ones for, like, guinea pigs and that. But I'm quite happy with this. Might not look the best, but it will do. He likes it. So just on the outside... You always got to be aware of the dwarf hamster sign there, but you can't get the tennis hat on. I only just realised that. And just sell it on this, you can't get to it. And it's got like a couple of stickers. These are from Home Bargains, something like a pound. No, they won't do 79 pence for quite a lot of them. Got a flower there, blue dots over you, and it says wonderful down there. Laugh wonderful. I know it doesn't really go, but it was on the sticker packet, and I thought it was almost point in wasting them, and I quite like them. And then you come across, got the mesh here, and these are on by the washers and the boats. And I've got the mesh here, and then got his little sign that he always tends to have and says Snow's home with a little heart that's kind of gone wrong. And he chews on the end of that, but it doesn't matter because some treated wood anyway. And then you've got his water bottle. This is the classic mini, um, probably get a bigger one for him, but he doesn't even drink that much water. He drinks about, well, I do it every day, and he gets half a bottle. And the card there to show, let me um, see where, how the. Um, water is because he's up high now so it's just easier than bringing him down to have a look um just hang on with the you know the thing it comes with on the front then it has two flowers and i've got enjoy i don't know why i've got that there but like i said i wanted to use them up on the top he's just got mesh which is on with boats again and cut out holes you've got plenty of ventilation then you come across got his little sign it says like the it says sweet snow it's like a you know, can see the s there um, I quite like that. I had, like I said, I've had these stickers from Home Bargains. These are from the range. These are from the range. And so I've got the flowers there. It's got a few dots, and I thought that looked quite cute. And on the side, then only on this side, not the back and the other side, is got a range of different, uh, different um, stickers. Just because this is the side you can see when he's up on top of my wardrobe. I thought it would look quite nice if it had been nice and bare. Instead of being bare, I mean, on nice and bare. And it's got a few things there. It's got happy, enjoy, together, a few little, cute little flowers, special, tr terrific, just things like that. I thought that looked quite nice. Um, so let me just take a lid off. And the lid is lovely, secure, lovely and secure. I'm just standing from me then is his homemade chew, which is on some sizzle. It's got a nut there, a wooden chew, um, grass mat piece, another wooden chew, and then toilet roll. Um, thing there. Oh, I just took this up over my bed. Oh well. Um, and then obviously you come inside. He hasn't got a lot of stuff, like I said. Um, he doesn't need a lot of stuff because he's an old boy now. So we start over here. This is his bed. Um, it's like a rose cottage, which I've done a review on. It should be up soon. Um, he's got inside. He's got 
um, vegetable head will bed in from Wilkinson's and it's got the, the blue one which is the the paper flake one and then it's got crayfish underneath and then wood shavings. I just think it just gives him a bit of a you know a bit more softer bed in and he likes that. And he's got a photo of him there. I'm not used to a little pile of chews. Um I'm not sure what tree what twig this is without the woodlands pack. And then he's got his fruit chew which he started to chew really good at because what I done um, if you've seen my storage, um, my hamster treats, I got like little jars and what I done, put it into the jar, shook, and I put in like a cheese chew one, and I shook it and then this melt of cheese for a couple of days and it, it helped him with his chewing. So if you look see a video on that, I'll, um, I'll do that for you. I mean, he chewed quite, you've had this since the beginning and never chewed it, but he chewed quite a bit now that it smells of cheese. <laughs> um, let's keep that there. I keep all his toys quite close because you can't go far. Um, there you've got a little range here, you've got uh, one from, one's from the Woodlands range, and then it's got like this piece of wood there, just, it's untreated, so, yeah, and you've got another twig under there, um, another piece of wood here, it's just right there, um, Antos Dog Chew, which he loves, then I've got a two one dental chew there, then I have his mirror, which is a heart shaped mirror, and he's got a little mirror there. Um, oh, the bedding that he's on is on wood shavings from s the snowflake bedding. And the mount I put in is the whole bin of this, and that's an 8 litre. So you get you got 8 litre litres of wood shavings in here. I find it's good for him to bear, borrow and everything in. Then he's got his pets at home honey chew there. Or fruit chew, I'm not sure. Come across, he's got this tunnel, and then he's got this bridge. He's got another tunnel. Thought it would be quite fun for him. He can still fit through there if he does. But this is from the Woodlands Range, too. These are from the range. And then we got two willow sticks here, which are in like them pack. And um, he only has two because he only chews certain ones, and so he's had a chew of this one, so it's kept it there. Then he's got another piece of untreated wood there, and his food bowl. And his food bowl he has for treats, he has mealworms. He gets a bit of variety when I clean him out. Just because um, I don't give him a lot of treats and when I do I give him quite a bit. Because he is losing a bit of weight now, he's getting older, so I don't just give him as much as he wants. Not as much as he wants, but you know what I mean. He's got banana chip, because he's not a big fan of them, but I still put him in there. He's got pasta, a piece of pasta, um, a monkey nut, which I've got a brick. There you go. And then we've got a woodlands mix thing there. We've got a dreamy there. Mealworms. And then he has his wag mix with some mealworms. I don't know if I just mentioned that because I just got distracted. Um, in his pets at home. No, it's not. It's Mason Cash. Let me just check. Yeah, Mason Cash pet bowl, which I always keep in this box. I always forget them. And yeah, that is it. He doesn't get a lot in it, like I said. Sometimes I take out one tunnel and put his wheel in, but I haven't this week. And I believe in cleaning your pets every week. Well, my pets anyway. Um, my hamsters, hamster every week because they will get too smelly. I find otherwise you don't surround yourself, but you know. Oh, it's a piece of loofah there as well. Um, you know when your pet needs changing. Like some people don't need to change them for a couple of weeks, but I like to change mine every week anyway. So. Yes, that is oh, my hamster cage tour for June. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.